With another Dragon Ball Super movie currently in development right now, many fans are wondering about what this could possibly be, and after watching Dragon Ball Super Broly, one may also beg the question on how this could possibly get any better than what we've seen go down between Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, and Gogeta going up against Broly in Dragon Ball Super Broly, as on the previous two videos, we covered the topics of reintroducing Cooler in Dragon Ball Super and have him team with his brother Frieza as a movie idea for Frieza's final run against Goku and Vegeta, in which you guys can go in ahead and watch that video located down in the description box below, as well as the concept ideas of somehow reintroducing Perfect Cell or Janemba as main movie villains to further the narrative of the show, to in which, once again, you guys can find that video link located down in the description box below. So this is our third movie idea concept for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super movie, and that concept idea is none other than a multiverse war, but not involving characters that we've seen before go up against each other again, but rather having them all fight on the same side in teaming up for the first time to go up against a common enemy. As real quick before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, then don't forget to go in ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be up to date and notified whenever we post a brand new video on this channel. And if you guys want to check out more awesome concept ideas for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super movie, then be sure to check out the description box down below in clicking and checking out the official Dragon Ball Super movie number two playlist, as this idea for me comes straight from Super Dragon Ball Heroes in seeing what they've directly done involving the likes of Cumber, Kamen, Orin, Hearts, Lags, and Cumber in perpetuating this idea of taking down not only the Omni King, but all other deities including the Grand Priest, Angels, Gods of Destruction, and Kaioshin in order for all mortals including those that stand against the hierarchy to live freely without the fear of a deity having to look down upon them. And as much as I love the Universal Conflict arc, there are many flaws that go into the Super Dragon Ball Heroes arc, however, what if we had a canon version to that be applied into the main story? To where instead of having a group of individuals, which of course we are going to talk about two different scenarios go down on this video, rather than having a small group of people having to stand against the hierarchy, what if instead it was one singular individual that stood against all in his quest of wiping out not just one singular universe, but the entire plane of existence that is of the multiverse itself? And if there's one concept idea that Dragon Ball Super lacked heavily during its run, it was the lack of introducing a credible villain other than Zamasu who happened to have been one of the only villains minus Frieza to actually have a significant impact within the show, as many of the other individuals that Goku and Vegeta had gone up against, either later had become friends or had a mutual standing with Universe 7. And it's because of this idea that Dragon Ball Super had become very stale when looking at the villains department because Dragon Ball Super didn't really introduce any sort of inconceivable threat to Goku and Vegeta that really forced the two to step their game up to such a degree to where it further influenced and impacted the show other than Frieza and Zamasu. So by introducing this one single character, I would propose the idea of having something very similar to what Janemba did in the Dragon Ball Super Fusion Reborn movie, and that's have the entirety of the multiverse be affected, heaven, hell, the afterlife, alternate dimensions, everything you can possibly think of when it comes to the outside of a single universe, having to have somewhat of a ripple effect that really starts to pour into the other universes, which not only further affects the Source universe to where all of this originally came from, but eerily enough, very similar to Astral Zamasu and seeing Zamasu spread his very essence into alternate timelines, different dimensions, the past, the present, the future, and with this one single individual now having to either be resurrected, created, or thus revived in some way, shape, or form, they could ultimately start the movie off with Goku and Vegeta having to be the main protagonists and having to further determine in what exactly went down that caused all of this to happen, to where right off the bat they come across this incredibly powerful individual, to where not only their Super Saiyan Blue powers are simply not enough, but even go as far as to reintroduce the concept idea 
idea of Kaioken times 20 and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and demonstrate this individual's power in the sheer fact that not even Goku and Vegeta at their current highest would be even remotely strong enough in holding a candle against this individual. So, with both Goku and Vegeta having to have their backs up against the ropes, they resort to fusion. Now, for the first time, what they need to do is introduce somewhat of a concept idea very similar to Cumber vs. Vegito, in having an actual fusion be introduced in Dragon Ball Super, to where for the first time, unlike what we've seen from Vegito and Gogeta within the continuity of Dragon Ball that's canon, actually have their asses kicked for the first time, rather than having the upper hand. To give you guys an example, when we saw Vegito vs. Buhan, Vegito had the upper hand. When we saw Merge Zamasu vs. Vegito Blue, Vegito Blue had the upper hand. When we saw Broly vs. Gogeta, Gogeta had the upper hand. However, in this situation here, by having this one individual square up against Gogeta or Vegito, this unknown individual needs to have the upper hand because that would not only cause Goku and Vegeta to retreat and falling back with a better plan given the status of not even their fusion being enough to even put a dent in this unknown enemy, but also go as far as to reach out to other individuals that they have encountered in the past to further assist them against such a powerful enemy enemy. Now, by doing this, they could ultimately have Goku go back to Planet Vampa in recruiting Broly and knowing the fact that Broly is stronger than both Goku and Vegeta individually, so being that X amount of time has passed since the original encounter between Broly and our heroes, Goku only assumes that up until now, Broly had most definitely had gotten stronger in hopes of also being able to control his full powered Super Saiyan form in further assisting them during the course of this battle. Now, by further going as far as to add Broly onto the team, would that not only solidify the union between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, but for the first time, we would have the opportunity and chance to instead of seeing Goku and Vegeta square up against Broly as we've seen many times be done before, for the first time, we have Broly helping Goku Goku and Vegeta against a common enemy. Not just for Goku and Vegeta's own interests, but for the interest of Universe 7. In knowing the fact that this individual is so powerful that not only was he able to stop Goku and Vegeta, but was also able to trump Goku and Vegeta's trump card, which was Fusion. So, what better way than to go out and recruiting other people, knowing the fact that they could be a great aid to your cause, in further having to contain the situation at hand. Even then, they could go as far as to reintroduce other characters to help out as well, such as having Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Android 17, Ultimate Gohan, Piccolo, and many of the top-notch warriors of Universe 7 having to team up together in working to fight against this common enemy, but very similar to what's going on in Universe 7, Universe 6, Universe 11, and many other universes are having this exact same problem. So with everyone knowing this collectively, in having to come to the agreement in the fact that this unknown entity needs to be stopped without a doubt before the entirety of the multiverse collapses within itself, being that the angels really aren't in the position to get involved themselves, and the gods of destruction at this point are very lazy to do their own job, then what better way to have everyone come in agreement in sending out their most powerful warriors that happen to exist within their own representing universe to help the others be assisted in this fight against this one singular foe. Again, if they don't want to go down the route of introducing one person having to be the main threat, then they could I guess ultimately introduce two, three, maybe four, or five other people to be a part of this little clique, but I do firmly believe that by having one singular entity come about that happens to be even stronger than Goku, Vegeta, and possibly Broly and Jiren, would that not only force everyone in bonding together for a common cause in fighting for their own existence, but you'll also see the unlikely team-ups of Ultimate Gohan and Hit. Broly and Jiren, Goku and Kefla, and many of these other individuals having to work together just to simply stop this one individual or clique who have an agenda in wiping out all life as we know it. And what a better way in having everything come full circle, in seeing everyone go from fighting against each other in the Tournament of Power, to now having to work together as a single unit, the absolute strongest in the multiverse, and having to work together in colliding against this one hell beast, this one demon, this one demonic entity who happens to in fact not only impact one universe but many in which 
all of these fighters do come from. But even then, it shouldn't be a wash, because by having everyone work together would that not only create alliances among the teams itself, but a concept idea very similar to base Cumber's aura in which we've seen during the events of Super Dragon Ball Heroes would be one of the absolute best concepts that this villain could have in further manipulating and possessing members of the opposing team in having them momentarily turn against each other, just like we've seen Cumber's influence impact Goku in having Super Saiyan 2 Berserker Goku fight off against Golden Cooler and Vegeta, this enemy could also possess similar abilities and tactics to where if someone were to get too close to him, his ki, his aura, his energy could further have a similar effect in possessing said individual in having them turn against his team just for the time being. For example, if we had a concept idea of Broly having to charge right in there and for this individual's ki and energy to affect Broly, would that not only cause Broly to be possessed momentarily by this individual's ki, but also seeing Broly collide against the Jiren, hit, God of Destruction Topo, Goku, and everyone that he had originally stood with until someone had basically figured out a way how to break the concentration from the possession in getting whoever was possessed to come back to normal in focusing on the battle. I think that in and of itself would be a great concept idea, and even if they failed with fusion from the beginning, they could reintroduce fusion at the end in seeing either Gogeta or Vegito stand along with some of the strongest in having this final battle happen along with God of Destruction Topo along with full-powered Super Saiyan Broly, along with full-powered Jiren, along with Lightspeed Dispo, along with Ultimate Gohan. So, not only do we have Gogeta and or Vegito at their max, but also seeing everyone else come together very similar to how we've seen go down in the Dragon Ball Heroes Universal Conflict arc, except here, executed and ultimately done a lot better than how we've seen in Super Dragon Ball Heroes. And just for the record, you don't have to have everyone essentially get along while teaming up with each other because there could still be animosity, there could still be tension, but knowing the fact that you have to do what you know is right to not only protect your own universe, but fight for the very protection of existence itself, would that not only motivate everyone to put their differences aside just for this one moment in having to work together, but this enemy needs to impact all of the characters in such a way to where we see everyone, and I mean everyone, be pushed to their absolute breaking points. Dare I say in a very similar fashion the way Kid Buu had pushed Goku and Vegeta, the same way Janemba had pushed Goku and Vegeta, the same way Jiren had pushed Goku and Vegeta, the same way Murd Zamasu had pushed Goku and Vegeta, so this enemy needs to do that to everybody, to Dispo, to Frieza if he's there, to Broly, to Vegeta, and one of two scenarios could end up happening in this situation if they were to introduce a concept like this. Number one, have Goku finish the job with a multiversal spirit bomb. Now imagine if everybody gave Goku their energy. Jiren, Broly, Frieza, Vegeta, Piccolo, Seventeen, Dispo, Topo, Rebrienne, Hit, Kale, Khalifla, Kaba, hell, even if you want to include the other gods of destruction, being that they're too lazy to step in and they still want the mortals to get the job done, can you imagine what it would be like to see a multiversal spirit bomb come together from every living life force, from every single being, and maybe even the gods of destruction to harness this energy above his own head in launching it directly towards this individual while he's being held off by all of our heroes? Would that not only be one of the absolute best case scenarios, but if you don't want to go with that, then they could ultimately go with the second option and that's have everyone combine their attacks in firing off in this massive beam-like collision against this individual to where their attacks are just overwhelming enough to get the better of him in disintegrating him completely. But that's only going towards a scenario to where fusion fails, the unlikely alliance between Goku, Vegeta, Jiren, and Broly fails. If all else fails and they want to go down this route of combining everyone's attacks, they could ultimately do that, but by having everyone team together and having to understand that this individual had not only visited each universe just to gauge the life force, just to gauge who are the strongest, and picking everyone apart collectively, having them all come together, creating a strategy, and then 
fighting this person head on would be, I think, one of the absolute best case scenarios. And that's only if they don't want to reintroduce the concept idea of Master Ultra Instinct in the movie and having that be the definitive finale to the movie itself, to which I do think would be a really cool idea, but I would have to still stand on the ground of having a multiversal spirit bomb get the job done and harnessing the energy of literally everybody just to take this person down. I don't want to see any of the angels or maybe even the gods step in unless absolutely necessary, but I wouldn't see that to be the case being that the angels are in a position to where they don't really have to step in and the gods could step in by choice if they so desire. But even among all the gods right now, one must beg the question as to how many of them would actually go as far as to step in to simply assist our heroes in this battle against a very, very powerful and deadly opponent. To where it would be incredibly awesome if the mortals at the very end of the movie did get the assistance of the gods and everyone having to step through somewhat of a portal, Avengers Endgame type scenario to where we have gods and mortals now stand together against this one terrifying beast to where it further requires the power of everyone just to simply get the job done. But in the end, I would like to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys on board for a multiversal enemy to be introduced and forcing everyone to work together? And if this concept idea were to take place, how would you guys write in a plot like this by having everyone team together, Goku siding with Jiren, Goku siding with Broly, everyone working together collectively and fighting against the common enemy? I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching guys once more if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a big fat like by hitting that like button down below guys also if you guys are unaware of my discord you guys can join my brand new discord in which the link to that will be located down below as well as the dragon ball super movie number two playlist located down below to where there you guys will be able to find more of these movie discussions down below so again thank you all so much for your time thank you all so much for your support follow me on twitter at unreal and gaming and instagram at unreal dbz again the links will be located down below if you guys have any ideas of your own that you would like to share then feel free to post your comments down below thank you all so much for watching tune back in for the next video and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a great day everybody peace this is the galactic emperor of the universe and of course i'm here to tell you to subscribe to unrelent gaming also follow unrelent gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times and if you don't then very soon you will all be dead <laughs> oh did someone say unrelent gaming oh my god the fuck's up on put on some clothes well why don't you put on any clothes what? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>